Welcome, my name is Dr. Cheryl Burley, and this presentation is on mindfulness programs and apps to improve student mental wellness and academic achievement. The topics that will be covered during this presentation include stressors on learning, mindfulness programs, community program collaboration, outcomes, and next steps. The role of mindfulness programs within schools has been limited due to the lack of funding and support from the community. Stigma exists within many cultures that mental health awareness and mindfulness programs are not crucial to student learning and academic achievement. Instead, students are faced with additional pressures of unrealistic social engagement based on what is portrayed in the media and pressure for perfection that may be self-induced or from parents and guardians. This investigation is part of a multi-year collaborative effort between a school district and community mental health and wellness outreach programs. The larger project is aimed at understanding the relationship of mental wellness within the school district, the possible integration of such programs at multiple schools and its impact in the local community. In this work, emerging themes of student personal growth, self-awareness, academic achievement, discipline, and school community and culture were revealed. For this presentation, the focus was on the direct relationship of mindfulness curriculum and its impact on students within the school community. During the 2017-18 school year, risk assessments were conducted with 294 students within the school district. Four levels of risk assessment were identified and defined as noted in the table. During the same school year, the district identified specific mental health and disciplinary issues based on the risk assessment survey that was conducted with the same population. This data will be presented towards the end of the session. Besides these findings, the school district shared data that community outreach support programs were serving K-12 students, and those included 1,150 primary school students receiving counseling services from one community organization, and hundreds of middle school and high school students receiving counseling through outreach programs or privately, a tremendous need, mainly focusing on mental health and wellness, social interactions, and home life situations. During the 2018-19 school year, curriculum embedded mindfulness practices at the elementary school level took place once in the morning and then again after lunch. At the middle school level, during homeroom, and in high school during the advisory period. Freshman high school students who were enrolled in the semester long health class participated in mindfulness practices daily at the beginning of each health class period. The high school health class mindfulness practices delve deeper into specific curriculum related to the pressures and stressors high school students may face. The implementation of mindfulness programs was to bring about overall personal awareness of self and others which supports the development of individual awareness and understanding to promote personal growth and change. For students to develop self-awareness, stimuli need to be addressed where students learn how not to be aroused by a situation that may cause an immediate reaction. External stimuli and stressors may affect academic performance, self-esteem, mood, concentration, and behavior. When students are able to remove themselves from stimuli, mindfulness thought practices might be employed to assist in how to properly react to a situation. For students to understand stimuli and maintain purposeful inner self-attention, the process must be continuously modeled and taught within the classroom. Transformative experience is a type of learning that students can apply once they have been exposed to the mindfulness programs in curriculum within the classroom and practice daily. 
Within the mindfulness practice, this transformative experience model develops upon the active use, expansion of perception, and experiential value. The process of transformative experience is in the continuous engagement of the experience to improve students' self-awareness and learning, which increases through self-confidence. Through community outreach program coordinators, social workers, and school psychologists, district teachers participated in a mindfulness practice boot camp during the week prior to the start of the 2018-19 school year. District personnel and outreach program coordinators worked collaboratively through the process, which allowed teachers to gain a thorough understanding of how to begin employing mindfulness practices within the classroom daily and maintain those practices throughout the school year. Monthly, the community outreach program personnel met with school staff during professional development meetings to provide extended program support. The same group of coordinators who ran the boot camp conducted outreach educational workshops with parents and guardians within the school community. During focus group discussions at the end of the 2018-19 school year, staff and community outreach program coordinators who worked at each of the schools noted an acceptance of mindfulness programs within each school served. Both teachers and school administrators had observed during the school year more acceptance of students and a kinder environment, and the hall seemed to be filled with positive and supportive conversations. Some schools saw more integration, interaction, and engagement of student groups instead of small factions of students standing independently in the halls or common areas before school, during lunch, or after school, as in the previous school year. Initially, some teachers were skeptical of the program and the positive effects mindfulness could have within the classroom. This initial skepticism was based on not fully understanding the mindfulness practices and how to introduce the concepts and curriculum within the classroom. One middle school teacher noted, we were not taught mindfulness practices during our preparation programs. Not having a full understanding of the pedagogy and how to get students to buy into was more of a difficult hurdle for me to overcome than for my students. An elementary school teacher shared that her students found daily mindfulness practices as a means to gain confidence and to see that they can succeed in the classroom. Many of the students, parents, and guardians from cultures who stress academic achievement, perfection, and excellence had remarked that their children were happier and more engaged at home. The parents and guardians learned the importance of accepting their children for their individual gifts thus reducing the pressure on their children to overload on honors and advanced placement classes, sports and volunteerism to bolster their college resume for a few select colleges and majors. The community outreach program coordinators not only saw a change in each of the school communities, but also reported a dramatic decrease in the number of students who were seeking services at the respective facilities. Of the initial 1,150 primary students receiving counseling services during the 2017-18 school year, this number was reduced by approximately 50%, or 580 students who received services during the 2018-19 school year. The same results were found in the middle and high school students. One of the outreach coordinators shared, students found that they were not alone in their struggles to understand their place within the school and how to make new friends. Students commented that they were not aware that there were a lot more people out there who were just like them, just trying to fit in. Another outreach coordinator found middle and high school students struggle with the pressures of both social media and peer pressure while trying to balance academics, parent expectations, and home life situations. Programs such as this can let them know that we are here to listen and support them and that others in their school are going through the same thing. 
based on the collaborative efforts of the community outreach programs and schools integrating mindfulness curriculum and practices daily, the data analysis found themes in which the personal growth of students was demonstrated in an awareness of self. A number of teachers discussed experiencing a greater understanding of the importance of mindfulness practices when developing positive student-teacher relationships with students and professional relationships with members of the school community. Teachers, administrators, and school psychologists are better able to establish and maintain supportive relationships with students within the school upon mindfulness practices training and continuously daily engagement in such practices, thus reducing stress and improving overall health and well being of all members of the school community. In addition to the embedded mindfulness practices curriculum, apps used varied based on school level and age of students. All of the apps that were selected were at no cost to the user or school. Students were able to use the apps at teacher designated times in the classroom. For example, high school teachers would use the My Life app and middle school teachers Stop, Breathe and Think Kids app with their students before assessments such as tests and presentations. Elementary teachers also use Stop, Breathe, and Think Kids app to begin each day upon the return from recess or lunch, and then at the end of the day as a time for reflection before going home. One middle school used trust circles where students could share specific times during the day that how they were feeling by selecting an icon and then writing a short description of the feelings. Several schools use Smiling Minds app. Regardless of the app, teachers, administrators, and community outreach coordinators encouraged parents to support their students' use of the app, especially during the weekend or on days in which school was not in session. After one year of employing mindfulness programs and practices, the same 294 students who were given the initial risk assessment took the same assessment at the end of the 2018-19 school year. The findings for each of the categories are shown in their respective tables. While each of the schools and outreach programs had hoped for a focus and awareness on the importance of mental health and wellness, the findings showed a reduction in disciplinary actions and an increase in the number of students who were at low or no risk. The data demonstrated the continuous use of mindfulness programs resulted in a 10% increase in the number of students who were not at risk and an overall a 20% reduction of moderate to high risk factors demonstrated and reported. School administrators were pleased to see with the introduction and continuous practice of mindfulness programs, a reduction in the number of disciplinary issues and absenteeism at their respective school sites. Both school site administrators and school psychologists noted the significance in the reduction of 5150 and home hospital cases due to the use of mindfulness programs within each of the schools. This was a noteworthy outcome based on the continuous practice of mindfulness programs in addition to students' willingness to trust, seek, and discuss mental health and wellness concerns with on-campus support of adults. Another unexpected outcome, an increase in academic performance and improvement in grades. School site administrators are waiting to see if mindfulness programs will have a positive impact on state mandated testing scores. Focus group and data analysis found a reduction in the number of high and moderate at risk student populations resulted in an overall improvement of discipline concerns based on stress reduction supporting the student's ability to respond to mindfulness programs positively. Furthermore, students who participate in mindfulness programs experience a sense of calm, thus gaining a greater understanding of themselves and how to interact with others positively. Additionally, the outcomes suggest mindfulness programs may have an impact on teaching, learning, academic achievement, and cultural development. 
This study does show promise, yet further research is needed. To maintain momentum, a strategic approach is required to expand the mindfulness programs and practices throughout the school district when working collaboratively with each of the supporting community outreach programs. One of the initial concerns that will require a careful planning voiced during the focus groups was the implementation of mindfulness practices and curriculum, making a conscious effort to set aside instructional time while balancing the demands of teaching course content. Further development with community outreach programs to improve school community acceptance of mindfulness programs and practices is still needed to move this current study to district-wide implementation. Based on the findings of this study, the district is planning to move forward during the 2020-2021 school year to establish on-site programs at each of the four high schools inclusive of wellness centers staffed by intake coordinators, social workers, and dedicated school psychologists. One middle school piloted the Trust Circles app during the 2019-20 school year. Phase one had a population of 75 randomly selected students in grades seven and eight and was conducted in the fall of that school year. Findings revealed five students were not on the administrator's radar and were of concern needing support services. A school-wide pilot was to commence in March 2020, but was put on hold. The impact of COVID-19. For many students, this once in a lifetime event affected their mental wellness more than most would have thought. The same emotions adults express during times of uncertainty K-12 students also experience, which were anxiety, a sense of not knowing about the future, fear, loneliness, and excitement. Checking in with the teachers at the school that use the Trust Circle app found that when school was first closed, there was an increase in the number of students recording feelings of fear and joy, fear for the unknown and joy for not having to go to school. Once distance learning resumed, the feeling of fear was replaced with sadness, since many of the students missed being with friends, socializing, interacting in class with other students and their teachers. Some students thrived in a distance learning environment and their fear turned to joy. A further study will commence once more data is available on the use of mindfulness apps during distance learning. Thank you for taking the time to attend this session. If you have any questions or like additional information, please feel free to contact me. The balance of the slides are references. Thank you and take care.